Guys, I'm so excited to talk to you both today. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, just to, you know, start off really fun, a oh, fun little warm up, kind of marred maybe in some stressful situations. If you were ever issued a red notice by accident on, against you, who was the first person you're calling? Wow. I don't, I really don't know. I'm like, if somebody was trying to, trying to do me, uh, I don't know. What me, do? me as a human being or me and the character, Chalfa? <laughs> it's both. If there's somebody this that you guy. want this guy, guy, yeah. Domingo Chavez, absolutely. I yeah. want him on my side. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would probably uh, set a reminder for, to myself to protect myself. <laughs> <laughs> right, of course. So, you know, this uh, season was so phenomenal. I've loved this show since the start. And to have you two on the season this year was just so good to see both of you flushed out these characters. Um, but you're both brand new characters to the Jack Ryan series and coming in no less on the final season. So was there an added pressure or challenge that you felt making these characters fit into the universe with these like seasoned vets, so to speak? Yeah, there was. I'm like, first, it was a thrill, obviously, because you want to be part of a cool show. Mm -hmm. And then it, uh, for sure, it was nerve wracking because you don't want to mess it up. And you don't want to be the one guy that that like just doesn't vibe with everyone else. Like you don't want to be the guy that's like doing something too different. Um, and but you want to just kind of be part of the, the team, you know, that that tells a story. Yeah, it's a murderer's row of actors, you know, down in the smallest guest star. So you don't wanna be the guy, yeah. You gotta yeah. bring your A game to this show. Yeah, so there's yeah, a, a little bit. Yeah, of there's so, there's so much that happens in this season, and you know, Michael, you are a brand new Clancy character in the Ryan verse, and I'm curious when there's a character that's so beloved in the books, how do you create a balance of what you bring to the character and what this character is to the entire fan base? Well, he's like he's a stealthy kind of quiet guy, and I think you kind of have to stick to that in a way, and of course, it's got to be like that that kind of like version of yourself, right? Um, so I, I try to stay true to that and then, you know, just add a couple things here that don't diverge too much from the actual character. Um, and, you know, cause there was times where I'm like, I want to joke around, but I was like, ah, it's not this character. That's not how he would be. So you kind of have to fight some, some performer instincts and just really focus on telling the story. Yeah, I feel like there were some, you know, times when I was watching, it felt like there was like improv, like you added a little bit of humor because like- Just a little like, bit. A little bit, yeah. But it, it really complemented it, the, the whole scene nicely. So I think that really worked out. But it was interesting though, because it wasn't just like telling a joke for the joke's yeah. sake. It's something that the character thought it was funny. So it was, yes. that's how you got away with it a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Louis, you were on another Amazon show, Hunters. And so I'm curious, what has been the most surprising thing you've realized with these levels of production that Amazon so wonderfully captures, especially with Jack Ryan, that is such a worldwide show. They go to so many different countries and they make it really glamorous, but like also very relevant for fans. Oh man, how lucky to be. I was on one temple and then to jump onto another, I was literally in Prague finishing season two of Hunters. Uh, when I got a call about Jack Ryan and uh, I, I went home for two weeks and flew straight to Budapest to begin. Yeah. So, yeah, it's very fortunate, very cool. I, I feel like I'm spoiled and um, I this is the kind of the, it's a high bar. It's a high bar. Let's just put it that way. The stunts on this show, they really elevate the action to what feels like a theatrical experience. Everything is so well done. Knowing that John was thrown out of a helicopter in season three, what, what was the hardest stunt for you guys in this past season? Well, I mean, being thrown out of two helicopters. <laughs> um, that's uh, no, no. Not, it, for me, it literally, it wasn't anywhere near that. I was like, I, I literally jumped into like a, like a puddle of water. Mm -hmm. um, no, because I can't swim. So I'm like me swimming like 10 yards uh, yeah. to me was a big deal. And uh, so that was my big, you know, my big deal. Yeah, for me, it was uh, jumping into a moving car while the rear uh, windshield was blown up. That was, that's a first for me. Yeah. I've done some things. I've jumped off of buildings in The Born Legacy, ridden motorcycles on camera, but that was a first for sure. Um, what is the biggest thing you two are going to take away from this series? You get to be with like, you know, Wendell and Michael and you get to be with John on the show. What was the biggest thing for both of you? I mean, to me, it has to be the experience with Louie and Mike Kelly, Wendell, uh, you know, everyone else in the cast. Like, it's a special group and they work so well together and you, you can see why. Um, at first, like, I felt like a little bit of an outsider and then I'm like, I was able to 
to break through a little bit. And so I could just imagine like what it would be like to, to have four years together. And then I was able to witness the last scene that John was in and he gave a beautiful speech and everyone else came in and it was, um, you know, something that I'll never forget. Um, so before I do let you go, Michael, I know there's been talk for a spinoff series for Chavez, and I'm curious what that looks like, especially since the final season does tee up some new dynamics, especially like Chavez's bromance, I would say, with Mike November. Um, can you speak to some of that or at least tease like what fans can expect? I don't know. I mean, the, I mean, it was bromantic, um, but, uh, you know, it's it's up to the fans and up to Amazon. And, you know, there's a lot of people that have to do certain things. But, you know, people like it. Maybe they'll they'll chime in and say, like, hey, we want some more. And so, mm -hmm. you know, we leave it in their hands. Yeah. Well, I would personally love more Chavez. I thought you were a great addition to the show. And guys, thank you so much for your time. And on that note, congratulations. I'm so pumped for everyone to see this uh, season. It's phenomenal. Thank you. Thanks so much.